Well, it's like they say, no news is good news. Except we have news, so it doesn't really matter, I guess. What does this picture have to do with anything? I don't know. Seriously, how many times can I recycle the same gosh darn intro? Oh crap, wrong. Greetings fellow Vita fans, this is James with PS Vita at 2am, coming at you once again with another exciting video. And if you're new here and love everything PlayStation Vita, don't forget to subscribe. And yes, being that we are now <gasps> Legasp, officially in the year 2020, seriously, where did 2019 go? News is not stopping. Told y'all. Now let's get onto that news. I think that's a good idea. Now I've always been a firm believer of getting the bad news over with first, so let's do that, shall we? And uh, Unfortunately, we got some of that too. Axis Games has tweeted out recently that Shirin the Wanderer, the Tower of Fortune, and the Dice of Fate will be having its server shut down officially at the end of 2019. They said, and I quote, Thank you for playing Shirin the Wanderer, the Tower of Fortune, and the Dice of Fate since its release in 2016. Unfortunately, the NA and EU online servers are shutting down at the end of December 2019. Please continue to enjoy the adventure in its entirety offline. Bit of a bummer, admittedly, yes. Now, a lot of you will probably be face palming at me now, but I have not even had a chance to take this game out of its shrink wrap yet. I did purchase it back in 2016 because it got a physical release, and yeah, I just kinda left it in its package and never got around to play it. In fact, it's news to me that it even had online servers. I had no clue that it did. So once again, James is late to the party. Okay, now let's get on to some good news. Starting off with some of the best here. Did you all know, psst, come closer, come closer, that despite the Vita being considered a dead console, we got a whopping 80 releases for 2019 alone. Yeah, as you can see here from this picture. Or at least you could if you're really good at squinting. Not bad for a system that most people in the mainstream tend to ride off now, isn't it? Yeah, take that Vita haters, totally raiding on your parade right now. I was trying to tell you that the whole time, but you just wouldn't believe me that the Vita actually has a lot of games, but you didn't want to believe me. Oh yeah, I totally don't have issues. Before I go on any further, blah 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 blah, I just wanted to let you know that this video has been sponsored by Aniba. I don't like spending money on games. No, I'm cheap. But with Aniba games around, I can let my cheapness flourish because they have some of the greatest deals you'll ever find online. Whether it be for the latest, hottest new game out there or older releases, they have it all. And don't forget that you can use the coupon code PSVITA for a percentage off of your order. Check the affiliate link down below. And now, back to news. And in a bit of, I guess you could say it's physical news, the Vasara Collection Limited Edition version coming from Strictly Limited Games, for those who ordered that, is going to be shipping out soon. But what makes this so great is that you all will be getting an official extra art card because the wait was a tad bit longer than Strictly Limited had anticipated. And according to Strictly Limited Games themselves, this is what your card will look like. Masari Collection is a game that I have already covered numerous times on this channel, believe me. It has a digital version and a physical version from Strictly Limited Games. And if you were one of the lucky people that ordered one of those, then your time has come. But I wasn't one of the lucky ones that did, I just got the standard edition, so this news can just, it can just talk to the hand. It's talking to the hand right now. My hand is talking. Now here's some news I found a bit on the uh, interesting side to say the least. The house in Fata Morgana is actually getting, I don't know if I want to say a reprint per se, but the company is going to be offering more physical versions of the game and collector's editions as well to those who, uh, well, want it. Novatical has tweeted out, Christmas special, we'd like to inform you that we want to ship PS4 or PS Vita or collector's editions, try saying that 10 times fast without going insane, on special to you this month only. This would be a great chance for you who missed it. Check the article here. Now what's kind of even more of a twist is that they're doing this through Patreon. You generally select what tier you want. As you can see, the standard goes for about $40 USD, and the collector's edition of the PlayStation Vita version goes for $75 USD. By the time I get this video out to you, I'm hoping that they still have them up, so I will have them linked down in the description below. This game had initially gone strictly through limited run games. Ha! See what I just did there? But now I guess they're gonna be doing their own version or something like that. Or maybe they're left over from limited run games releases. Uh, so it's kind of weird news, but figured you might all wanna know about it. And The House in Fata Morgana is a gothic style tragedy visual novel. That's the way a lot of people like to describe it. So I'm gonna go with that too, because I don't know how to think for myself.
Oh, what's on our plate now? Well, Jest, aka Alchemist Candy on Twitter, has not only a brand new pin, which is Gravity Rush themed, look at it, look how beautiful this is, but she also has stickers available with PS Vita themes as well, along with a picture of her cat. I'm assuming that doesn't come with the shipping. Or who knows, maybe it does, might want to ask her. Thus, if you're interested in purchasing one of these from her, I'll have a link down below for you to follow. And no, this isn't affiliated with me whatsoever, I just want to help her out. Now, Rotalika Games, oh, that beautiful company we oh so love, is having a special New Year's uh, contest. Essentially, they are giving away multiple physical releases that were available only through PlayAsia, some of which are out of stock right now. In fact, I think most of these are out of stock. This is the PS Vita we're talking about in 2019 with physical releases. Of course, they're out of stock. But they will be giving away a White Glacier PS Vita Stay Limited Edition Collection, Devious Dungeon 2, Devious Dungeon 1, not sure why I said those out of order, Super Death Astronaut DX back in 1995, ooh, my heart's beating for thee, and I am the hero. If you're interested in entering this contest, then you can follow it via their Twitter account, and I think you just have to follow them and retweet it. You know, typical Twitter stuff, not that I would know because I don't even have a Twitter, and you'll boom, you'll be entered. And just to let you all know that Sekai Projects is having a special digital sale on Rabby Ribby and Root Double. I don't even know why I'm posting this here, because I already showed this off in the sales video I did previously, so yeah, I, I don't know, this, this, this whole part is pointless. Uh, top-notch quality as always from this channel. Well, you know, what are you gonna do? And I think that's everything. Not a bad way to start out the year 2020 in my book. Let me know which news you found interesting though. I'd love to hear your feedback as always down in that comment section thingy uh, under this video. And as always fellow Vita fans, thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. It really means a lot to me. Love you all, and I'll see you next time. The following video has been brought to you in part by all of these wonderfully generous people, including Foe D, Reiko Star, Matt Fox, E-Rock, Kevin Enright, Buzz Saiyan, Jelle, Heston Joseph, Pierre Sterner, Adam Thury, Aaron Swanson, Mario Cruz, Skullshire Tugel TCG, Rodrigo Vera, Larry Anderson, Phantom XRS, BMF, Hero Acer, Saul Ramirez, Ruben Gutierrez, Adam Sondi, Kyle Brooks, Joshua Williams, Dennis R. Huggins Jr., JR, Jared Hado, and Richard Cruz. If you yourself would be interested in supporting the channel, check the links down in the description below. I have oh so many ways for you to do so down there. Oh, and just so you know, I was joking about being cheap during the early parts of this video. Well, okay, no I wasn't.